From the Journal of Aphromas Longjourney. Pilgrim. With notes by Avost Tor, scholar of Reeve Library. Skull Day, 18th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. 39th day in the trees. Four days we have been traveling in this swamp. This is the first day that we have found a place dry enough that I dared open the journal to write. Never have I seen so much water. There is very little ground, only small islands. Those islands have grown fewer and fewer as we walk further through. We are walking on a wooden path now, since the land has been swallowed by this water. At first there was only a bridge here and another there where water collected at one place or another. Then there was more water, and the bridges became more numerous. Then the path was a series of bridges, punctuated by little spots of land, peaking above the water. Now the path is tied to the trees, for there is no longer enough land to support it. The trees are as large as any others I have seen save the red giants. Not in height, for they do not rise that high above us, but in breadth. Some grow through the water, like giant reeds, while others float on rafts made from their roots and other debris. The water is deep. I am not certain how deep, for it is muddy, but I have seen large animals moving below us, appearing as shadows in the water. There are insects everywhere. They range from small midges, barely visible, to dragonflies as long as my forearm. Suja sometimes jumps at them as they pass by. Once she frightened me by nearly falling over the side. I rushed to rescue her, but she regained her balance. Even the water is strange, for it grows deeper and shallower as the day progresses. Twice a day, it changes its depth. It never reaches the path, but sometimes it is close enough that I can reach it with my tail. Other times, I would have to hang by my feet from the edge of the path to reach the water below us. It is very unnerving to me. Torn thinks it is normal, but what if it does not stop rising one morning? What if it continues rising until we are covered? Note, I read through this part, and I remain amazed. If I understand correctly, this means that Aphromas traveled through the legendary Swamp Sea, a place that has eluded explorers for centuries. What if one of those shadows comes along then? I never thought that water could be frightening.